Cancer, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 5th to the 11th. And this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Cancer, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Cancer, is the Wheel of Fortune, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands in reverse. All right, so your challenge, uh, your challenge here has a lot to do with something that's changing, okay? But I think uh, this situation, Cancer, that is changing in your life, it's bringing forth a lot of abundance a good you know there could be an opportunity here we're going to clarify this and see in the recent past you have the nine of cups the king of cups and you have the six of swords okay i'm really getting here in the recent past you definitely possibly removed yourself from some sort of situation someone could have left you could have left maybe your person left here and this may have led to um, a lot of self-fulfillment for you, okay? There, there's something here about you starting to love yourself more in the past, okay? Loving yourself more, being happy with yourself, pouring love into yourself here, King of Cups and the Nine of Cups here after you disconnected from somebody. There's something here about you disconnecting in the past. In the present moment, you have the Star, the Two of Cups, and you have the Ten of Cups. Looks like there's a really happy, prosperous connection that's in your life that's showing up here with the Two of Cups, okay? This is someone that you could see yourself maybe moving into the future with. In the near future, you have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Cups. There's definitely somebody here from the past that could be showing up in the near future with the Six of Cups, lots of memories here. Uh, there's something here about someone, okay, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There's someone here defending this connection in the near future is what I'm getting. Could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We're going to clarify and see. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, is the Nine of Wands in reverse, the world in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Swords, okay, with the Seven of Cups in reverse. So it looks like to me that a lot of you are still um, in the process of maybe letting someone go or releasing this codependent energy, okay? Nine of Pentacles in reverse is codependent energy, but there's something here about you wanting to release this. You don't want to be dependent on this person anymore, or maybe they don't want to be dependent on you. We have the world and the Nine of Wands here. Someone here is slowly giving up on something that looks like it's coming to an end, but it's not completely done yet. Uh, there's still a process here, okay? But someone here is giving up is what it's telling me. So let's do some clarification, Cancer, and let's see what's going on. Let's clarify your challenge. So the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Queen of Cups. You have the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Your challenge has a lot to do, Cancer, with some sort of communication that's going to be coming in. Uh, this could have a lot to do with someone that you really want to give your love to. This is someone that you want to give to. 
Uh, you could be telling this person, look, I'm really interested in you. Okay. Your challenge here is to prepare yourself for um, something that may come in that's unexpected. I feel like this is a good thing. You know, a lot of you may be worried like, okay, well, if I offer my love to this person, are they going to reciprocate? Uh, six, of, six of Pentacles here. Is this something that I should be doing? I see this situation being something that you're a lot more worried about than you need to be. Okay, so it looks very positive here. Your challenge here is, is about moving forward very quickly and offering your love potentially to someone. Okay, could be um, a fixed sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus here. Okay, maybe a fire sign. Let's clarify the past. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Cups. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. A lot of you chose to move, remove yourself from a situation here in the past because it was already coming to an end. You know, you didn't really see the situation growing here. There was a lot of on and off between you and this person. And a lot of you were tired of being disappointed here in the past by this person. Okay, so you started to pour in yourself into yourself here, loving yourself. Some of you started to do more self care in the past here is what it's telling me. There's definitely some sort of breakup here that happened in the past. Now in the present moment, uh, you have the two of cups. There's definitely some sort of relationship here. Um, we're going to see what this relationship is all about. I feel like a lot of you in the present moment are inquiring about this connection, whether or not this connection is going to be something that you see yourself being in, in the future. So we're going to see what the star, what the message here is from the star in a moment. Let's clarify the two of cups. Two of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you want to know in the present moment if it's okay to proceed. Is this something that's going to bring me the happiness that I seek? What I can tell you, Cancer, is, is that if you are in a connection in the present moment, it looks very positive, okay? And if there is a connection coming into your life, it looks very positive. You have the Ten of Cups here twice. So what this is telling me is, is a lot of you are willing to hold on to this connection. This is something that you see yourself being in in the near future. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. You're finally connecting to somebody here, Cancer, in the present moment that's really um, that's really making you feel fulfilled in the present moment. Uh, you know, there's a lot of cooperation here. There's a lot of just happiness is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of potential. And a lot of you may not be expecting this. It's just something that, you know, once you leave something here behind that really wasn't working for you, this pops up for you. And it looks very good, looks very positive. Tell me more about the star in the present moment. What is the message from the star for Cancer? So the star is clarified by the six of wands, the five of wands, and you have the judgment. There's something here about you recognizing the ups and downs that are going to come with this connection, I feel like with the five of wands here and the six of wands, you're going to be experiencing a lot of victories with this person, a lot of, um, you know, successes in love with this person. But there's also the possibility of you and this person um, in the near future. And, and you're getting this message in the present moment that there is going to be ups and downs here. This is what you're realizing. This is what you're learning. That it's not always going to be peachy, creamy. Um, but there's a lot of love here. So there's something here about you and this person being able to work through the conflict. If there has been a conflict, if there was a conflict that shows up, I see you and this person working through it. Okay. So what's happening in the near future for you? Let's clarify the 
Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. There's definitely someone here from the past that's showing up. This is someone that you walked away from. Um, this person, I feel Cancer, does show up again. They try to... Um, they try to defend the connection with you. There's something here about you walking away from this person, but they're showing up here in the near future. A lot of you are going to be finding maybe um, a new love or a new connection. And this person from the past may feel that, okay, is what I'm getting here, which may create a lot of confusion in the near future because even though you've disconnected from this person, it doesn't mean that they disconnected from you, okay? So let's clarify the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Some of you um, in the past were dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I see this person showing up, okay? But they're very closed off. Um, you know, it's like they present themselves, they show up, but they're not doing anything. And this may be the reason why you left them in the first place. So there's something here about someone realizing or coming to terms with the fact that you are moving forward. You're moving forward to possibly a King of Pentacles energy. Someone who is actually going to um, give you what you need. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles is clarified by the Justice, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Yeah. You've been waiting for something solid to come in. You have the Justice card here. Someone in the near future who's really stable, who brings a lot of happiness to you, shows up. And energetically, I'm really getting that this person that you walked away from, that you completely disconnected from Cancer, tries to come back towards you in the near future and a lot of you are going to be you know maybe wanting to communicate with this person but I'm also getting a moving on energy you're finally moving on even though you may have not completely closed out the cycle with this person from the past they already gave up on this they already gave up on it okay and this could be the reason why you are moving forward uh, at this time with full force Okay, so let's get some advice for you. What is the advice? The advice here is um, prepare for someone to want to move into a new direction. If it is a fire sign that you were dealing with, which I feel like um, you were, you know, expect this person to show up. Expect this person to want to move into a new direction with you but don't expect this person to change. There's something here about this person bringing burdens, responsibilities, conflicts, arguments. Um, your advice here is, is to prepare to move into a new direction. Leave behind what isn't serving you. If something is creating resistance, conflict, uh, you know, and this is something that you've wanted to let go of and leave, there's something here about you planning to move into a new direction and cancer i feel like that's what you will be doing okay so this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one